So the first step we want to do is apply HDR to this image. So if we go inside our master contrast folder, scroll down and click on HDR strong, click play. And we'll turn the opacity of this layer to 100%. Uh, next we want to add some colour to this image, so we'll close our master folder, contrast folder, open up master looks, scroll down and we'll click on summer days action, click play. Next we'll delete our summer days luminosity layer, because we just want to use the colour, so we'll bring that colour layer to the top, and let's turn the opacity of this down to about 30%. Next we want to add some more uh, contrast, brightness and a bit more sharpness to this image. So we'll scroll to the top of our master contrast folder and play our enhance it action. Click play. We'll move this up one and we'll leave the opacity at about 70%. So next we want to add uh, a bit more of a uh, HDR feel to this. So we'll go into our master looks folder, scroll down and we'll play the cryptic action and click play. We'll bring this up the layer order and that's probably a bit too strong for what we want so we can drag the opacity down to about let's say 50% and next we want to sharpen the image so we'll scroll to the top of our master contrast folder we'll click on finish sharpen and let's keep these settings here, a radius of 0.3 pixels and an amount of 33%. Uh, click OK. And so let's compare this against the original. So I'm just going to place the original photo back over the top of our image. So there's our original and if I just turn this layer visibility off, you can compare it against our HDR image. It's before and after. Now if I zoom into his face we can take a, a better look at the detail we've just added. So it's before and after. And that's it.